If you've programmed in Java before, you've probably come across the error cannot find symbol, and you're wondering how to fix it. There could be several causes of this error, and in this video, I'm going to go over four of the more common causes. I'm using the program that I've used in previous videos, and we see that I have something here, cannot find symbol on prompt use re, cannot find symbol on this vehicle, uh, cannot find symbol on this method, and cannot find symbol on this variable. So there are different reasons why this can occur, and we'll go over one at a time what they are. The definition of cannot find symbol means you're trying to access either a variable or a method, and it, it, the compiler cannot find anything with that name. It could be that you've misspelled it. It could be that it is out of scope. Maybe it exists, but it's not available where you're trying to get it. Or uh, it could be that it simply doesn't exist. So let's take a look at the easiest one. Uh, right here we have fully qualified class name and it says cannot find symbol. But up above on line 40, we clearly see, wait, there it is, fully qualified class name. I'm quite certain it's there. Okay, if you look closely, you'll notice that the capitalization is different. And if the capitalization differs, that means it is a different variable, okay? And what it's saying here is, I can't find a symbol fully qualified class name that has an uppercase F. Now there is one with a lowercase F, but because it's different, different capitalization, Java is case sensitive. Java is gonna count that as something different. So the fix here, fix the capitalization. Now it realizes, oh, 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 okay, you mean this fully qualified class name. And in a very long variable name, it might be hard to find a simple spelling error or maybe you transpose something. So in that case, if you just can't see it, try copy paste. Take the original variable name and paste it where you wish to use it and boom, there's one out of four resolved. Okay, let's scroll back up to the top and we're gonna see here, cannot find symbol on prompt user. Well, okay, if I take a look, I'm gonna go over to the uh, navigator view here, and I see there is indeed a method called prompt user, and I can scroll down and sure enough, see the method called prompt user. In this case, we've simply transposed a couple of the letters. We need to change it like so, and now prompt user exists, and now that's two cannot find symbols that have been resolved. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna look at number three we have a method called print trip number. I mouse over this, cannot find symbol, and okay, it can't find a method called print trip number. I look on the left in the navigator view, is there a method available to me called print trip, print trip number? And the answer is no, they're not. So in this case, this is very legitimate. We're trying to call a method and the method doesn't exist. That will not compile. No way will that compile because the method has to exist. So the fix here is either remove the line or make the method. So I'm going to put my cursor on the method. I'm going to hold Alt and press Enter and take a look at one of the options that comes up, and it is create the method. Okay, easy enough. You see cannot find symbol is gone, and down below I have a new method called print trip number. So for this, I can simply say system out print line, and I'll say trip number, and then plus the uh, parameter that's passed in, which is an I, trip number I. So to resolve this one, we found that it was calling a method that doesn't exist, and we simply made that method, implemented the method, and now three out of four cannot find symbol, errors are gone. The final one is tricky. The final one, if I scroll back up towards the top, you see the final one is this vehicle cannot find symbol. We have to be really careful with this one. So I'm gonna highlight this vehicle, control C, then control F, and I'm gonna search for this vehicle. What we're gonna see here is that this vehicle is declared within a for loop. Now remember how scope works in Java. Scope means a variable is alive from the point at which it is declared until the close curly for the scope in which that variable was declared. I know that sounds confusing, but let me reword it, say it a different way. We declare a variable on a given scope. A scope is defined by open and close curly, and you see in NetBeans, when I click on an open curly, it highlights the corresponding close curly. Any of these things that I'm highlighting here are scope. 
a variable is only alive for the scope where it was declared, okay? So while this vehicle is a legitimate variable name, it is out of scope up here in the method called main. And what that tells us is the system out print line logic probably doesn't belong in the main method, and indeed it does not. Instead, it belongs down here in the loop. In other words, if you take a look, uh, we are going to print the state of the vehicle before we run a trip, then we're going to run the trip, and then what we want to do is paste. We want to print the state of the vehicle after the, running the trip. Shift Alt F and NetBeans to fix my indents. And now what you see, our program is fixed. Four out of four cannot resolve symbols that have been fixed. With those four fixed, let me give you a fifth one, which is honestly probably the most common. Take a look at this, my vehicle cannot find symbol. You see, my vehicle here is a variable and we're assigning an object to it here. We're doing an instance of operation here. And many times we're calling methods on my vehicle. Now, what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm going to control F and I'm gonna look for my vehicle. And to access this variable, it has to be declared somewhere or I have to be inheriting it somewhere. Remember what declaring a variable is. Declaring a variable means we're giving a type to the variable and a name. And so far in this method called prompt user, I don't see anywhere where I am declaring the variable. So what I'm going to do on line 41 is say vehicle, my vehicle, and that essentially is a variable declaration, and you see now all of those red lines are. So a fifth thing to look for, if you get cannot find symbol, are you sure you've declared the variable? And are you sure you've declared the variable in the proper scope? I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching.